Hi there. Today we're going to go over different colored item types for gear and what you can do with them as requested by my wonderful Discord member Nick on Demand. A big thank you to Snowdragon for becoming a Patreon supporter. Really appreciate the support. Let's first go over the colors. We have white or gray gear, pink gear, green gear, blue gear, and purple gear. White or white gray gear can be considered normal or basic equipment. You can usually buy this from an NPC vendor and sell it on the market board and it can be crafted. These can be normal quality or high quality. There are some unique and untradeable pieces of all types of gear which can be described as unique meaning you can only have one equipped or in the inventory or untradeable which means you can't trade it to anyone else and usually market prohibited. Pink gear is ethereal gear, which is an upgrade from normal gear. You see these most in low level dungeons and just a step up from normal gear. Green gear is special gear, mostly seen from dungeon drops but can also be some quest rewards as well. Most but not every single piece is unique and untradeable. Blue gear is considered usually the best gear in game and for the related expansions. Mostly seen as poetic gear, which is a gear type you should always be using from the poetic vendors. Which, if you want to know how to gear from 1 to 89, I'll link that video at the end of this one. Lastly, we have purple gear, which is almost exclusively relic weapons. These are very special grindy type of items you can get at the end of each expansion and takes a long time. Or crafter and gatherer relic weapons as well you can grind for. Now let's break down why you should remember to hit like on this video. I mean, what the method should be when you get a piece of gear. Nailed it. First thing, don't ever sell gear to an NPC vendor. That is your last resort and is usually the least wise thing to do. Gear is a consistent thing that you'll be obtaining through your adventures when starting off in Eorzea and if you're under level 50. You should constantly be equipping new gear that is better than your old gear. It is important that you keep your item level near the dungeon and story level in order to not fall behind in stats which can make dungeon runs and content way harder than it needs to be. So if you're struggling, make sure that you have the highest gear that you can equip for your level. The first question I ask myself, is it better than my current gear? Easy to check. You can just use the item comparison button to see if it's better stat wise. Do not equip gear for glamour as we have a glamour system for that. And I will link it down below so you can learn how to do that. Focus on stats only or hit the recommended gear button to equip the best gear possible. A note here is that it has to be in your armory chest for the recommended button to work. It will not work if your gear is in your inventory, but you can still use the item comparison button to check. There is also one little tiny caveat here for special situations which happen at low level. Some types of gear will say gear of striking, gear of maiming, but will be available for all classes to equip it. This doesn't happen at later parts, only a few parts earlier on, let's say level 60 poetic gear. If we go under DOW, which stands for Disciple of War, you can see that it's not broken out between tanks and melee DPS or range physical DPS. So you might not know which one to purchase. You can just look at the primary stat, whether it's strength or dexterity. Strength is for tanks and melee DPS, while dexterity would be for range physical DPS. Next up, can my retainer use this gear? When you have your retainers and if you chose a job for them, which you should be the job you are playing through the story with, then you can pass on your old gear as your retainers level up. If you are a level 48 Dragoon and you have a level 40 retainer with a Lancer Dragoon class, you can give that gear to your retainer. So you don't have to purchase that gear. Best way to recycle class gear. Although there is a way to level up your retainers without having to equip any gear to level 90, so I'll also link that video below. Can I sell my gear? As long as you do not equip and spirit bond with the gear, it can be sellable on the market board. Some dungeon gear early on is sellable that are not job specific. Dungeon gear later on are usually untradeable, which means you can't sell it through a retainer. But crafted gear and gear you get through the main story quests are. Your retainer is the way you sell on the market board. You can simply just go there, sell items in inventory, and see if you have something worth selling. Not all gear is worth it. You should just make it a habit though to check your gear on the market board for some easy money. Because you never know who's looking for that gear. And gear you get through MSQ stories can you sometimes sell for 30 to 80,000 gil. Can I get grand company seals with it? We will keep it in our inventory for GC farming which you can unlock after main quest level 20 and you choose a grand company. Once you level up your grand company rank enough, you can turn in these types of gear for grand company seals. 
and exchange them for all sorts of awesome things and pretty much becomes the number one thing to do with pink, green, and blue gear. I repeat, this is the number one most important thing to do with pink, green, and blue gear. Should I desynthesize it? Desynthesizing is unlocked with any level 30 crafter, so there is a little bit of a barrier of entry. You can desynthesize gear that you cannot do anything else with and don't need anything for it. You can break down that gear or item for base materials. Great for certain pieces of gear and to just level up to synthesis, but I have been playing for a few years now and I still don't have all of my stuff leveled up for desynthesizing, so I wouldn't really worry too much about this method. If you are just starting off, I would not worry about keeping gear for a lot of jobs or classes. Broken record, but focus on getting through the main story. And if you only have two retainers, it's not really worth to keep it when you can either equip it, sell it for a gill, give it to your retainer, or get it for grand company seals, which is very important. So basically one through 50, you're just equipping the best gear you can and getting rid of the rest by either selling it on the market board or just selling it to an NPC vendor since you don't have a lot of options. After that level 50, you'll only be equipping poetic gear pretty much until 89. Everything else you can try to sell on the market board or get grand company seals for it. So the priority list is as follows. Equipped it to my job, equip it to retainers, sell it on market board, turn it in for GC seals, desynthesize. Now, I hope this video helped you with what to do with your gear. If you got any value out of this video, then don't forget to limit break three, that subscribe button down below. Want to get more information on AORs yet? Then you can click here.